Okay, so to understand our ice cube phenomenon, one practice that we might use is called modeling. This is where you use drawings or three-dimensional objects or even mathematical equations to describe what's really happening. In the ice cube, you have trillions and 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 trillions of molecules of water. We'll call them particles, but actually they're molecules. And they are constantly in motion. Okay? So we'll say that the marbles in the box represent the particles of water. Now, as the ice cube melts, it gains energy. So it goes from a slow-moving cold solid to a liquid. It might be moving a little faster. Over time, that liquid will move faster. And faster. And we'll see marbles come flying out all over the place. This quality of particle motion is called kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. In your next activity, you are going to work with a simulation to help you better understand the three basic states of matter and how much kinetic energy particles have in each state.